Hi y'all, it's me, Anna E, and I'm gonna show you what was in my 13th Stitch Fix box. All right, so we have the return envelope, the price sheet, and the style cards, and here we go, in order of uh, to ooh. And first, decidedly, and oh, what are you doing? Uh, pile <laughs> are these Kate distressed boyfriend jeans um, I have never tried anything on more unflattering than these guys um, I will say I will say for starters they are really thick jeans they feel really good they are stiff um, they don't feel like they're gonna have any stretch in them but boyfriend jeans really shouldn't I guess um, they're distressed they're, you know, I'm sure they're adorable on somebody without enormous hips but on somebody with enormous hips they fall straight down, making me look like a giant rectangle, and there's Remus on the scratching post. So these are an absolute no. Absolute, absolute no. Second, also in the pile, is this 41 Hawthorne Money Geoprint and Camisole blouse. Um, now I pinned a yellow one, a yellow one, just like it, it didn't have a print. Um, and I, I wanted the yellow for football games because of, you know, Georgia Tech yellow jackets, you wear yellow to games. And I, I don't have a lot of yellow. Surprisingly, I don't have a lot of yellow that's not tech branded. So I was after things that were yellow. Um, and I pinned one like this with the studs and everything that was yellow and looked really adorable. So she sent me this, which is sort of a navy blue and lighter blue, um, not quite Tiffany blue, but pretty close, cami and, and studded blouse. And, you know, I just, it, What's really weird about this is in the back, in the back of the sleeve, it's got this strange little cleavage thing happening and your elbow sits right there. So it's like this, your elbow and all your little wrinklies around your elbow and then where your arm gets larger, naturally, I mean, even if you're tiny, <laughs> your arm still gets larger right there. And it, this happens to show the most unflattering angle of the back of an arm I can imagine. It's it's just not adorable. It's not cute at all. I mean, other than that, the fit's fine. You know, I'd rather not have to have a blouse that I have to wear a cami under, um, especially when I want to take it from fall back to summer or spring. And, you know, extra layers is just extra heat, and nobody wants that. Um, so this... I had... A couple of fixes ago, I put down a list of yeses and noes and one of my noes was no more geoprint no more geoprint no more stripes i'm kind of over it my closet is overwhelmed with it stitch fix seems to have those two things as their go-to prints i haven't gotten any florals i don't think and i've only gotten two neat prints from them a bird print and an and an elephant print but they've sent me a lot of these geoprint these aztec inspired things and and a lot of stripes and i'm just, I'm just not into that. So back it goes. Third, we have Margaret M. Emer Jack, uh, Jacquard, Jacquard. Margaret M. Emer Jacquard. Is it Jacquard or Jacquard? I don't know. Whatever. Print tall, straight leg pants. Now, what's interesting about this is I asked my stylist for skinnies. And I mentioned that straight leg is fine as long as it's a thin straight leg, a slim straight leg. Um, these are not slim under any stretch of the imagination. I love, I normally love the Margaret M pants, but these, you know, they're just so, they're black and blue. And I just can't tell you how many black and blue things that they've sent me. I'm so tired of black pants. I just, guys, come on, come on. When I ask you for skinny, I mean skinny. When I ask you for tall length, I really mean tall length. These aren't tall length. These barely hit my ankles. I just, I, I, I'm just so disappointed. Um, I'm so disappointed. And I know that this is, this is a fun, exciting experience. And, and even when I hate the stuff that's in my box, it's still a fun experience to get the box in the first place. Um, and it's really fun talking about all the stuff you get in the box. So in the end, it's never a lose situation. I mean, it's not like you have to pay for the things that they send you that you don't like. So, you know, I, I don't feel bad moaning about things like this, especially when I said, don't send me any more black bottoms. Don't send me anything that's not skinny. And here we go. This is what I get, a black straight leg pant. And you know, I know the algorithm says that I've kept two other pairs of the Margaret M straight leg pants, but I've also had to spend $14 a piece on those to get them tailored to make them skinny. 
And now we progress into the ooh side of the box. Um, I have to say, as disappointing as those first three pieces were, that's how amazing the second two were and how spot on, right on target, the things that I want out of a Stitch Fix. Nailed it, nailed it. Okay, so fourth is this Margaret and Spruce Maybe Geo Print dress. And yes, I know it's a Geo Print. I know, and I know I just got finished saying I don't want any more Geo Prints. But the dress fits exactly like I, I like them too. I like them to be shift-like. I like them to be looser. I like um, I like a dress that sort of fits me, fits me, not tight, fits me across the shoulders and chest and then just sort of flows from there. You know, either, either an A-line or a shift. Anything without a defined waist is what I'm after because my waist is actually that tall. That's how tall my waist is. After that, I've got boobs and shoulders and Remus on the scratching post again. After that, I've got chest and shoulders and then hips, hips and legs, legs for days. So I'd rather wear a short shift dress that brings emphasis down to my legs, which are really nice. They're really nice legs. I'm pleased with my legs. I like my legs. They're one of my best features, second only to my hair. Um, right, so, <laughs> so then there's this guy who came in the mail and I am really excited about him. He's got longer sleeves. Um, they do have elastic in the sleeves, which makes it a decidedly casual dress, which is fine. I can handle it. I'm going to rock that with some gray booties and a statement necklace, and I'm going to love it. It is a soft sort of t-shirt-y material with a little bit of bounce, a little bit of bouncy stretch to it. Um, the color is beautiful. I really love that pinky gray. I'm, I'm really excited about wearing this. It's a little on the long side, which is surprising given that I am 5'9". Little on the long side. Um, it's gonna be perfect for fall. I'm really excited about this. I could I could rock this in the spring and summer as well if I change my shoes. So very, very happy with this. Nailed it. And last, and my favorite piece in the entire box, which is very surprising, honestly, because it is a piece of jewelry. It is a bracelet. This is the Valerie Layered Metal Cuff from Zad. It is, um, it is like a brassy bronze, a silver, and a gold, and they're stacked. Um, it is a definite, definite cuff. It's got some some stringy issues here, but it was really cheap. Really, really cheap. Um, fits beautifully. I really like it. I think it is, that is 100% my style, a statement, but classic shape in a modern hammered tri-metal feel. Um, love this. Loved the price on it. <laughs> really, really like this a lot. Um, I would not have thought that a piece of jewelry from Stitch Fix would have been my favorite. So there it is. That was a two out of five box. Not real bad considering I gave her absolutely no guidance. Um, my Pinterest has been full of all things mustard and shift dresses in all shapes and sizes, um, colors and patterns and all kinds of stuff. So for my next fix, for my 14th fix, my note um, requested all things mustard, shift dresses, skinny pants, and then I reiterated all of my no's. No stripes, no geoprints, no pants that aren't skinny, no jeans that aren't skinny. Um, and then I'm really interested in some more dolman tops. Again, not stripes, not geoprints. Um, I also upped my prices on the, uh, the style profile just to see what they send me. Um, they typically send me stuff that was below my price point anyway, like that dress was super cheap. It was um, about, half, about half what I would normally spend on a dress. So, I'm pleased with that. Um, I'm pleased with the quality of that. We'll see how well it wears because the material is so soft I'm worried about it pilling a little bit. But then again, if I'm paying significantly less for it, I should be able to afford to keep it to keep it sweetly, maybe even take it to the dry cleaner um, instead of just throwing it in the washing machine, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you think you can do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what kind of where are you? Hand wash cold. Okay, so it's a hand wash. Hanger line dry, which is fine. I can throw it in a I can throw it in a garment bag and, and put it in the delicate side. Del del so that was my thirteenth box. I am looking forward to my fourteenth. My Remus is making a mess on the bed. What are you doing? Oh, did you not like the lens cap? Sorry, buddy. So that was my thirteenth box. Um, I'm looking forward to my fourteenth. Um, hopefully, it will be all things mustard and dresses because. I would really love some more shift dresses. Those are becoming my my uniform, really. I wear them all the time. I love them. I love that I'm going to be able to put tights and tall boots on them and a coat over them and call them winter, and it's done. Um, they do take up a lot of room in the closet, but it's totally worth it, I think. 
And that was my 13th box. Um, looking forward to my 14th. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry this was really rushed. Uh, <laughs> a little disjointed that the roofers are inside and there's a kitty right there and I am super hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, my Stitch Fix referral link is below, as well as the link to purchase my book, The Unspoken, the first uh, in the Kara's trilogy. The second book is due out sometime in December. I'm really, I'm shooting for the first week of December, but you know, life happens. Definitely December though. So um, be on the lookout for that. Cover reveal should happen sometime in November. I am really excited about sharing the second book with you guys. And that is about it. Um, so, see ya. Right, so I'm growing out my bangs. Sorry about all that. <clears throat> Hi y'all, it's me, Annie E, and I'm gonna sh Helpful, helpful. Hmm.